Hey guys, Kenneth here and welcome to my movie corner and today I am here to review The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Yes, this movie is directed by Patrick Hughes and it stars Ryan Reynolds, Samuel L. Jackson, Selma Hayek, Antonio Banderas, Frank Grillo, and Morgan Freeman. And this movie is a sequel to the 2017 action comedy The Hitman's Bodyguard, which I actually own right here. Um, I guess before starting with my thoughts on this film, I, I think I should talk about the first Hitman's Bodyguard. I actually didn't see this movie until a week ago, and I don't think it's a bad movie. It's not a classic, but I think it was a very entertaining movie, and that is the only thing this movie needed to be, a very entertaining movie. I thought Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson were pretty good. They had a really good chemistry. There, were, there was some pretty good action scenes. And there were a lot of funny moments, but it also had a pretty weak script, weak side characters, and a pretty bad villain. But if I reviewed it, I would have probably gave it like a 7 out of 10. It's a good time. I don't think it's a bad movie, and I may go as well as to call it a bit underrated. But yeah, when I saw the trailer for the, for the Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, I was like... This looks kind of cool, even though I have I didn't see the first one before. I was like, this looks kind of kind of funny, and the trailer, yeah, it made me laugh. Are you using pepper spray? I'm on sabbatical. <laughs> I was actually kind of excited to see this movie, but then the reviews came out saying like, oh, this movie was pretty bad. I know some people that said, oh, this movie was not was just okay. And sorry if I, if this review was pretty late. I, I actually was pretty busy or kind of lazy to see this movie. But yeah, now that I've seen this movie, what do I think? I don't think it's as bad as everyone makes it out to be. I mean, like the first one, it's not a great, like an amazing movie. Like, I think this one is inferior to the first one, but... For, for a good chunk, I thought this movie was enjoyable. If I could compare it in, in the enjoyable value, I would say it's on par with Mortal Kombat. Not great, but serviceable enough. But yeah, let's talk about the positives. I think my biggest positive would be Ryan Reynolds, Samuel L. Jackson, and Selma Hayek. They, for the most part, they were enjoyable to watch. I actually really like their chemistry and back and forths. Their characters, eh, but they actually hold this movie. Like, if they got worse actors or they or their performances weren't as good, this movie would have been a pretty bad movie. But Reynolds, Jackson, and Hayek actually managed to hold this movie with their arms. Like I said, they have pretty good chemistry, they have pretty good back and forths. I actually really kind of like their characters. Uh, they can get a bit annoying at times, but they didn't make me like, oh my god, just kill these characters. Um, let's talk about Ryan Reynolds for a second. Ryan Reynolds is an actor who, let's face it, he likes playing himself. Like, even in movies like Detective Pikachu and Six Underground, he was just playing himself. And here, he is playing himself, but he's just so likable and charming that you're like, yeah, I don't mind him playing himself. Samuel L. Jackson, like, he's awesome and everything. You can't go wrong with Samuel L. Jackson. And Selma Hayek's character was probably my favorite character in the movie. She was absolutely insane, and every moment she did something insane, I was like, I think I like this character. And speaking of Selma Hayek, this woman is on her mid-50s and still looks fucking gorgeous. She is legit still one of the most beautiful women alive. But yeah, I thought Reynolds, Jackson, and Hayek actually gave good performances. Antonio Banderas, um, I actually like his villainous role better than Gary Oldman from the first one because at least here he actually got to do stuff. Um, also, Morgan Freeman was was pretty good for it he doesn't appear that much in the film but for the parts he appears i actually liked it he actually did a better job here than in that piece of shit vanquish which 
yes, I've seen, and I probably may review it because there's a lot I want to talk about from that movie, but again, I have to see it again because I pretty much forgot that movie, but I'm pretty much getting out of the subject, but yeah. Overall performance-wise and chemistry-wise, I liked it. While some of the action was somewhat of a mixed bag, there are some pretty good action scenes, mostly in the third act. And there are a lot of moments that I legit laughed. Like, there were like three moments I legit laughed out loud, especially the ending. I'm not going to spoil what happens in the ending, but that made me laugh hysterically. Me and my mom were just laughing hysterically. Also, I actually like the setting of Italy because Italy is a beautiful place and funny enough, this isn't the first Ryan Reynolds movie to be shot in Italy. In Italy, Six Underground, the opening of Six Underground was in Florence, which I, I want to talk about Six Underground one day, maybe later. But yeah, overall, I did enjoy the setting. And unlike a lot of comedy sequels, which they just do the same stuff from the first one all over again, I appreciated that this wasn't the first one all over again. Sure, there are some tropes from the first one that carry on onto this one. But overall, I appreciated the fact that this wasn't trying to be the first Hitman's bodyguard all over again. As far as negatives, I would say the script is pretty bad. Um, yeah, that was actually the one of my the, one of the main issues with the first Hitman's bodyguard was that the script was pretty bad. Um, also, there are while for the most part I like these characters. There are some parts where they can get annoying at times, like especially Jackson and Reynolds. Like there are some parts where they are actually pretty annoying. Also, I think there were a lot of jokes that weren't that funny. Like the first one was actually funnier than this one. Like I said, there were some moments in this one that I did laugh, but a lot of the movie I was just like not really laughing that much. Sure, I had some chuckles, but there were a lot of jokes that were just kind of disgusting. Either they went out for way too long, or they would they were just plain cringy. Um, also, there are there is kind of like this twist that when you get a lead into what's gonna happen, you're like, I bet that's gonna happen, and that's what happens. Again, sorry if I'm being cryptic with this, but I can't spoil because I don't want to spoil it in my movie reviews, but yeah, I'm just saying, there's a twist that you'll probably see coming. But yeah, here are my final thoughts on the Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. It's not horrible as everyone makes it out to be, but it's not that great. It's pretty much inferior to the first Hitman's Bodyguard, which wasn't like an amazing movie, but overall... I would say I enjoyed a good chunk of this movie, and would I recommend it? Not, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't say you should go and risk yourselves going to watch this into the, in a theater, but once it, it's available on VOD, maybe, I mean, don't pay $20, but if it's like $15, consider it, um, there is enough entertainment value. Again, um, this is a movie that it's best if you turn your brain off and just try to enjoy. But yeah, I am going to give The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard a 6 out of 10. That's, that's the highest I could give it. Despite me enjoying a lot of the movie, a 6 out of 10 is the highest rating I could give it. So yeah, those were my thoughts on the Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Let me know, let me know down in the comments. Did you like this movie? Did you hate it, this movie? Or here's a question. What is your favorite Ryan Reynolds movie and your favorite Samuel L. Jackson movie? My favorite Ryan Reynolds movie is Deadpool, and my favorite Samuel L. Jackson movie is actually The Hateful Eight. I actually think that movie is really underrated. But yeah, let me know down in the comments. As always, you can also follow me on my social media. The links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Kenneth out.